Right, so the aim today is to get these boxes finished. We're gonna make the lids. Remember we've got a Zebrano one for this and a Holly one for the brown oak and sycamore one. We're gonna get those made, get the recesses cut in order for the lids to sit in. In this one, we've got rebates to cut for it. Then we're gonna sand it up, get them finished, and then in the next episode, we can get moving on to the next box. Right, that is the first box, about 90% there. We've got all the sides sanded, plain flush, arist and everything, so it feels really good at the moment. It's sanded up to 180 grit because that's all I've got here. Realistically, with Sycamore and this timber, like I said, I think it's Utili, I would probably go up to 240 because it's able to take those finer grits quite nicely, but because I don't have it, then we're just gonna stick with 180 and that will be good enough. The lid is in the clamps at the moment because I'm gluing on a little ebony handle to the top in order to lift off the lid. And so that I basically just freehanded on the shooting board and has got some really nice little chamfers and details on it, which you'll see after it's assembled. For now, before getting started on the next box, and this next one I'll talk you through it a bit more rather than just time lapse the whole thing. All the things in this, like the rebating and the sanding and all that, they were covered in the box project on the free online school, so I didn't want to repeat it here. If you want to learn how to do all that stuff, it's all listed in the description below. But before getting started on the next one, let's see. One day ago, 12,000 views. Now we were aiming for 3,000 likes on this one. How did we get on? We are there, <laughs> brilliant. Nice work guys, very, very good work. And we've still got a few more views to come through, I would imagine, because we tend to get a few more than 12,000. Very, very good. So how about on the next video, Let's go for 4,000 likes, but I don't want to just throw that number out there without any incentive to do it because I've had a few requests from you guys to show how I would dimension and particularly resaw timber if I was in this garden workshop and I don't have access to a bandsaw. So if we get 4,000 likes on this video, I will show you how I resaw and size timber, or I will attempt to show you how I will do that in the garden workshop. Because quite frankly, I really can't be bothered to do it, but if you guys manage to get over that 4,000 like mark, then I'll do it. So remember guys, 4,000 likes on this video, and I will show you how I, or I will attempt to show you how to resaw and size timber by hand on this thing. Speaking of, I need to give it a clear up before moving on to the next box. So for this brown oak and sycamore box, I'm going to be using holly for the lid. It's a really gnarly piece and it has already started cupping because of the 
moisture changes and stuff of just being stored in the garden, which is expected. So I'm going to roughly size this to fit the top of the box. It's going to be slightly oversized in terms of width and the length is going to be to the, uh, is it the tangent? The outermost tangent of that curve. And then after I've done that, because we all know how to square timber on shooting boards by now, after I've done that, I'll show you how I'm going to start shaping those curves on the edge of the box. The way this is going to work is the lid's going to be completely recessed within the top of the box and there's going to be a little pull out the front which is recessed into the front so you can just lift it up like that there's not any hinges on it or anything it's just going to be a lift up lid from the front so the first thing i need to do is lock the back of the lid on that inside edge and then mark where the front edge intersects with it and we'll do that on both sides and then between that mark and the back edge i'm going to put a midway mark and then join those two marks up as well so we know where the inside edge is going to be. Now I've got a bowl to mark this radius now because it's a little bit less floppy than the lampshade I had before. Now I'm going to roughly put the outermost part of the curve on that midway point and just see how far back we're going and see if I can get that even. It's looking like that's pretty good there. So 11 there and then on this mark it's actually 12. So we've got to pivot that in a bit. 11 and a half. 11 and a half. And then on the shooting board as I'm planing I'm just going to start rolling this round in order to work my way back to that curve. And with that curve cut on this side, I'll line up the end of the curve with the internal corner of the box and then mark where this corner intersects and then square that line across. And then get a template again and with that line squared across, that met up with the line that I scribed down the front. So I've got a corner there and a corner there to line up my template with. If you hadn't guessed, I'm making this up as I go along. carefully blend in those facets left over by the shooting board with sandpaper wrapped around a hard block of wood. I'm just going to be very gentle with this. And for the little pull on the front I'll get the midway point again and then I've just got a lid from a gin bottle here that I'm going to use to mark that circumference. Right, so I've knifed around the edge of the lid on both sides and also the finger pull thing at the front. But now I need to establish the depth of the rebates for which the lid is going to sit in and also the rebate thing that the front lid pull is going to sit in as well. I'll probably just make it around halfway. Right, so it's been a long old day by this point and I think I'm going to call it there for this one. I'm not going to get the rebate. Right, scratch that. It's now the next day. I'm going to continue with it because I want to get the job done. Right, look at this. Look how close I am. We've got the handle there. I've just got to sand off some pencil marks. I've got to clean up some of the glue in here. And then we'll be able to slap a layer of finish on this. And it'll be done. First box complete. But seeing as I do have a little bit of time, I want to continue working on this, which is involving cutting out the little lip for the finger pull thing and also the recess here. And I'm going to start having a go at cutting out these curves as well. We're not going to shape the outsides just yet, I'll do that in the next episode because I haven't got a whole lot of time today, but I can certainly get started on these bits for the time being.
this lid is definitely not my finest work, but I have no doubt I'll be able to clean it up quite nicely. Once I've buzzed over it with a random orbit sander, taken off the edges and smoothed out some of those curves and rough looking lines that you might be able to see on the lid. Once those are sorted out, it'll look all right. It was very difficult to get in there and clean out those things though. So if I do this one next, I'm definitely gonna do that before assembling. Uh, because I don't fancy doing that again. It was quite frustrating. Now I don't have a whole lot of time left in the day because I need to edit this video later tonight and get it posted tonight. So I'm not gonna be able to finish off the rest of this box, but I've only got a little bit left to do on this one. So I'm just gonna sand up the top, get rid of that glue, give it a once over because I've left it in the shed overnight. And then we're gonna get the first layer of finish on it. I cannot wait. There you go, that seems like a bit more of a suitable finish to the end of the episode. One coat of finish on the angle box and I'm loving the way this looks. I really want to keep it, but obviously these are to give away. As for the second box, it's looking all right. Just needs a little bit of cleanup, which is what we're gonna be addressing in the next episode and see if I can get this looking good. So, as always guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to press the like button. Remember, 4,000 likes and I will show you how to, or I will attempt to show you, how to size and resaw timber by hand on this thing. We're gonna give it a go if I hit 4,000 likes. So scroll down, press the like button, it'll take you half a second and I will show you how to do that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.